Like, oh, well, get okay. over it. You, <laughs> so Emmy sure was posting as a, as as Moist Critical. Okay. Nice. I just expect people to be nicer. That's all I expect. Yeah. And I realize like Yeet I've yo. made some stupid stupid mistakes. Um, you know, like the Babsity thing. I think that's like my my biggest fucking mistake and or you know, I've I've stood up for people when I should have just shut my mouth or I shared too much because you forget cuz you're live all the time and you that line between personal and professional gets really blurry sometimes and I've I've fucked up a lot of times. Um, but I um bloop. QTC love. I think the internet and in being in this space has made me more suicidal than I have been since like high school. And that's a terrifying feeling as an adult when you But after repeated exp Wow. Wow, that <laughs> that escalated quickly. Um so, you know, <sighs> Just in all seriousness, let, let me let me comment on, on what Cutie Cinderella said. So, you know, like I, I'm out here doing the, doing the streaming thing. You know, I I am in no way in any sort in any shape or form any sort. I don't have really much pressure to stream because at the end of the day, like there are so many other streamers that you all can watch. There are so many other people that you probably do watch, and probably people that are far more entertaining than I am. Um, I know, I know Af is here, and, uh, I, I know Af watches Asmin Gold. Like, I watch Asmin. So, like, I mean, they're, they're f like, they're far more entertaining people on, on this platform than I am. You know, I do my best, I try, and, uh, I do my best to keep things, like, light, light, but also, you know, very 18 plus, because we like to have fun around here. But also, like, I, you know, I, I, I like to have fun, I, I keep things pretty chill, and I think I have a, a, a pretty good sense of, you know, just of who I am as an individual, and I have no pressure to really defend anything or anyone on this platform. Um, no one has really come to me and told me that I need to, like, defend some sort of, like, person or some sort of cause just because I'm a streamer on Twitch. But you have people like Cutie and other bigger streamers who feel almost obligated to say something about a certain issue, whether it be, like, for example, like, um, to comment on, uh, the severity of COVID or, you know, um, the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Like, there's this obligation for them to actually speak on these things when they actually don't really know all that much about it. And they may not even be, like, they may not even, they may, like, they may care about it in the sense of, like, oh yeah, this is pretty important, but they don't care about it enough to actually want to say something about it, but they feel pressured because they're so big as streamers to actually, you know, speak on things and to, um, you know, share who they are and what their what their thoughts are as well as their personal lives on this platform. And when you've been doing this for a long time, like Cutie has been, I honestly don't blame her for feeling as though, like, you know, she, again, all jokes aside, you know, she felt that she was like, she feels like more just depressed and not, you know, in her, in her best mindset since, you know, you know, getting so involved in uh, the goings on of, of Twitch and, you know, social media and things like that. Um, you know, Cutie has like very, very, she's been known for just taking, like, just hiding her tweets. She, she would just block her own, uh, her own Twitter from everyone else. She's been known to do that. Um, she's taking breaks from streaming, just, you know, out of the blue. So she's, so uh, people know, like, you know, she just, she's very, very susceptible to the, 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 the mean, um, cutting words of people on the internet in general. And, you know, she has had to feel a lot of that. She basically organized the streamer awards, which was, a, which was a very big deal. It was a great event. I've talked about this in the past. I think it was a successful event. Um, kudos to Cutie here for, for even doing the thing in the process. But doing that as well as, uh, you know, doing many other things in general really opens her up to a lot of criticism and a lot of really hefty words that it's really hard to protect yourself when you're a streamer. It's hard to like, um, to just keep yourself like in the right mindset of like, okay, you know, there are people who are gonna be talking shit about me on the side, but then there are also people who, you know, actually really do care about my stream and care about me as a person. But when you stream for so long and you, and the split between, like what Kitty was saying, the split between personal and streamer life, they kind of start to blur a lot of the times. It's really hard to keep those things separate. And it's a lot, it's very, very tempting to like share who you are and what you're, what you're doing, your secrets and all that. 
And um, I want to mention something really quick that, well, I'm still talking, but um, I want to mention that Asmin made a very good point. Um, I think it was either the other, I think it was like either Friday or today. Um, he made a very, very good point about this sort of thing. He says that, he said that basically it is, it is in the streamer's best interest to not share their personal lives on the stream or to let, to let their audience know how they're really feeling. Um, because that opens them up to criticism and for people to essentially troll them, to pro poke and prod at them, and to ultimately just make their lives a living hell. So if people know about your personal life and how you're actually feeling, then you're just way more, you're may way more vulnerable because you're putting yourself out there. Like streaming is putting yourself out there. It's, it's a very, very vulnerable kind of entertainment. And we're putting ourselves out there in the hopes that you all will like us. Like, we, <laughs> like, 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 what else is it gonna be? Like, obviously we're doing this because we enjoy what we do, but we want you all to like us. Like, we, we want you to care about what we do. But at the end of the day, like, if we're too vulnerable and we share too much of ourselves, we then make our, we then blur the line between, you know, professional life and, and personal life. And that's how people get depressed. That's how people, stop not wanting, wanting to stream because it's just like there's they're under so much pressure from their entire audience and all the people who are talking shit about them that there's no there's no delineation between the two which just has it it just it mires through their entire being it just it just it takes up your entire being and your entire life and just and it it gets into your personal life where it shouldn't be and uh so i agree i agree with asman on that point um you know, I, I do like to, you know, tell you all, like, every, at the beginning of my streams, I talk about, like, what I'm doing in my life. And sometimes when I'm playing Genshin, I, I get a little personal or whatever. I talk a, a little bit about stuff that's going on with me. But at the end of the day, I do try to keep things relatively, relatively separate. Um, I don't tell you all everything of what's going on with me. There, there are a number of things I haven't told you all about um, that's recently happened with me that you probably, like, unless you know me, like, unless you're really close to me, you don't know that these things have happened. Um... But, you know, that's the thing. I'm just keeping, trying to keep a, the distance, you know? You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, keep personal business out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's basically what, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm in full agreement with that. Because, uh, you know, as much as I want you all to like me, I, I don't want, I don't want it to become like a, a thing where one, either, either you become like so attached to me, or you like me so much that like i become like someone like important to you in your in your personal life i mean i mean you know whatever but like i wouldn't want to occupy a spot in your mind or in your heart for someone in your actual life who can actually like provide that that friendship to you like but obviously you know i'm here to entertain and to you know to some degree be a part of your life you know but um but you know obviously i just want to you know i don't want to get too personal but also give enough of myself that you all know that I'm being very authentic. I'm being very honest with all of you, and uh, you know, just keeping keeping that line kind of uh, keep keeping it separated as as the song goes. Your soul is trapped here. Oh, Noxed. <laughs> oh, I, if only that were true. If only that were true. And I had you. If I had your soul prisoner, um, imprisoned here. But I know. I know you watch other streamers, Nox. I know I'm not your. I, I if I'm your number one choice then thank you but i don't expect to be your number one choice i know you watch other streamers <laughs> I, <laughs> but I, I i really do appreciate your support and the support of ever all of you here whether you're talking in chat or just lurking but um yeah i just want to you know i i thought that was this is a really thing to talk about for a little bit um because cutie does make a very very honest point about just you know if you blur the line too much, that can be very, very dangerous and very, very detrimental to your mental health. And, um, and, uh, one more thing that Asmund Gold said, I'm sorry, but, um, Asmund has some pretty good takes I agree with. Um, he said that streaming and Twitch in general is a hotbed for mental, uh, for mental disease or, or mental illness, I should say. Like, Twitch as a whole, like, the way everything is kind of structured, to be a streamer, means that you're making yourself pretty susceptible to, you know, the, the whole, you know, uh, putting yourself in a situation that may actually harm you mentally. And it uh, taking care of your mental health is super, super important. Whether you're a streamer or not, please do take care of your mental health. And I will just say that outright, please do take care of yourselves for sure. I certainly do. Um, but yeah, yeah, like, you know, uh, you know, just Twitch, the way Twitch is and how entertainment is, 
it can definitely be a, a place where people are like, you know, just mental illness, just it, it runs rampant. Like, and it is what it is. Like so many people come to Twitch to feel comforted, to feel like they have a friend to talk to. And that's why, you know, there's so many people who are active on, on uh, in chats because they, they want to, usually they want to, you know, feel like they're a part of something. And uh, I'm glad you all agree with me. Uh, I'm glad you agree with me, you guys. Um, it's just like, it is, well, I agree with, agree with the point that I mentioned, that I quoted from Asbin. It's not like my point, it's me agreeing with Asbin. I don't want to take credit for that. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's true. Uh, I think it's true and I do my very, very best to make sure that my mental health is in, in good shape. And when I'm not in good shape, I've been known to not stream if I'm not feeling up to it. But um, I did that a couple times last year. So, you know, take care of yourselves. But um, just also know that, you know, you know, uh, you know, they, they say, um, they say sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt me. That's, that's how the saying goes. It's a little bit different when it comes to streaming. Just, just a little bit different. Um, given the fact that we're all here, I'm here to entertain you and that you're here for, to be entertained by me. And so like when your words and engagement with me, kind of feeds into what I'm doing as a streamer and uh, you know I'm just I'm really grateful for anyone who's actually willing to give me the time of day in general um, but I'm definitely going to prioritize I do prioritize my mental health um, over that so it's just a shame that that cutie has found herself in a place where you know she's very very depressed and has felt suicidal lately but um, you know it's true it's true well let's go ahead and move on I think I've talked enough about this